Hi there and welcome back. There's a nice new feature in Samplitude 10.1 and it's called Create MIDI Triggers from Transients. What this does is analyze a rhythmic audio track and creates a MIDI file based on the transient detection of the audio track. You can then use the MIDI file to trigger an alternative sound. In this case I'm going to be replacing the kick drum. You're hearing some live drums I recorded, played by my friend Steve Spring. So I've soloed the bass drum. Make sure the object is selected and then go to the tempo menu and select detect transients. Then go up to the menu again and select create MIDI triggers from transients. So now we have a new track created below containing the MIDI file. Open the MIDI editor and there are the notes C1 based on the transient detection of the audio track. So now I'm going to insert a Roboter plugin to the plugin slot for the MIDI track. Make sure the step sequencer is turned off as I only want to trigger a kick sound. So let's have a listen to the kick drum. So now we have the Roboter kick drum triggered by the MIDI file, which has been generated by the kick drum from the audio track. blend in some of the original kick as well. Bring down the roboter a bit. And there you have the original kick. And then the roboter soloed. So that's how you create a MIDI file based on the timing and transients of the kick drum. So you saw me create a MIDI file based on the performance of the kick drum. So this time I'm going to quantize the original kick drum and create a MIDI file which will be quantized as well. So we need to make sure we have the kick drum selected here. Then go back up to the tempo menu. We've done the detect transients, so open the audio quantization wizard. So now you can see all the markers which have been created based on the transient detection of the kick drum. Next thing to do is to select split at transients and click there. That divides the kick drum up into separate audio objects. Now I'm going to quantize these objects to sixteenths. This is done by clicking on the quantize audio object position button here. It's also worth clicking on the Remove Object Gaps button. Also, the automatic crossfade should prevent any clicks. Close that. Make sure I have the Roboter disabled here. So now let's listen to the result. So there we have the kick drum quantized to 16th notes. There's a bit of leakage of the snare into the kick drum mic there. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create a MIDI file based on the quantized version of the kick drum. Up to the tempo menu again and select Create MIDI Triggers from Transients. So now we have another MIDI file inserted here. I'll double click on that to open up the MIDI editor. So there's all the MIDI notes created and they're all hard quantized to sixteenths. I'll get rid of the original unquantized MIDI file and drag the new one down to the Roboter track and re-enable Roboter. I'll unsolo the original kick drum so you can hear just the Roboter kick drum. And there it is. Of 
course you can use whatever sample you want as a replacement. I'm using Robota purely for convenience, although the sounds are perfectly usable. There's no reason why you can't do a similar thing with the snare drum, although it might need a bit more tweaking in the audio quantize wizard, particularly if there's ghost strokes and flams, etc. Back to the start. So there you have it, I've quantized the original kick drum, created a MIDI file which is triggering the Robota kick drum, mix them both together. That's the original kick drum. drum by itself. So that was a brief introduction really on how to use the audio to MIDI trigger feature in Samplitude 10.1. So until next time, I'll say goodbye. Bye for now.